I think to your point though, Trav, one of the guys is that JSN, right? What do we do with a guy like JSN? Um, I think by all accounts, right, what he kind of went out there and was able to accomplish or in some cases lack thereof his rookie year left a, quite a few people wanting more, right? Um, and I think temp expectations were probably started started to temper a little bit on draft night, right? Like going somewhere behind somewhere like uh, DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett is probably not a place where a rookie wide receiver is really kind of set up to thrive, even though, you know, Geno Smith had had done some really nice things that year prior. But I think what this speaks to is, look, from an analytical perspective, um, what he did at Ohio State, not just like not just the on-field production, but also what he was able to do like while Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson were there, like yeah. with some of that overlap was just and look. Yes, he had CJ Stroud thrown to him, who is clearly an elevator, which we've seen him do in college and now at the NFL. So, you know, there is some of that to take into account, but um, it, it's it's tough. The way, Trav, we were talking about this yesterday in kind of preparation for this episode is what do you do with a guy like JSN right now, right? So I think the way I look at this, and this goes, this is kind of starting to speak to some of the actionable advice that can potentially come out of using something like this, right? Is that what I would do um, personally, and I have done this in a couple spots, is start checking in on JSN owners and seeing what their current temperature is, right? Like, because if there's an opportunity for us to, to buy let's call it low, right? Like depending on yep, what that person's totally. temperature is or, or whatever to buy somebody that, you know, is above a 90 scale in this that we've seen, if you're above a 90, like, you know, you've got some great seasons ahead of you. So if we're able to get a discount on a guy like that, it, it's, it behooves the manager to at least check in, right? Like all you're doing is due diligence. We're not, yeah. this is not saying you must go out and buy JSN, but I think what this is doing is saying, look, this is a guy that tested really, really high. There may be a window here, and he's probably getting an upgrade from an offensive coordinator perspective as far as utilization, right? You know, Trav, I think one of the things that we talked about was that OC coming in from UW, right? And mm -hmm. really, those three wide receiver sets, we should see a much deeper average depth of target for JSN in this new offense as opposed to kind of what we saw last year.